we are asked to complete the following inequality web by using values of the stated operation. So we start with the inequality negative five less than 10, and then based upon the direction we move, a particular operation to both sides of the inequality. For example, if we move in this direction here, we subtract two from both sides of the inequality. Performing the operation on both sides, we have negative five minus two less than 10 minus two. Again, we subtracted two on both sides of the inequality. And now let's simplify and see if this is true. Negative five minus two is negative seven. We have negative seven less than 10 minus two is eight. Negative seven less than eight is still true. Now let's move in this direction here. In this direction, we add three to both sides of the inequality. This would give us negative five plus three less than 10 plus three. Simplifying on the left, we have negative five plus three, that's negative two, less than 10 plus three is 13. Negative two less than 13, once again, is still true. Now let's move in this direction here. In this direction, we multiply both sides of the inequality by four. This gives us negative five times four less than 10 times four. Negative five times four is negative 20. 10 times four is 40. Negative 20 less than 40, once again, is still true. In this direction, we divide both sides of the inequality by positive five. This gives us negative five divided by five, less than 10 divided by five. Negative five divided by five is negative one. 10 divided by five is two. Negative one less than two, once again, is still true. We've discovered here that if we add, subtract, multiply, or divide both sides of the inequality by a positive value, the inequality remains true. Now let's perform the same operations using negative values. So we have the same inequality, and now we'll perform the same four operations, but now with a negative value. Moving in this direction, we subtract negative two to both sides of the inequality. We should recognize that subtracting negative two is the same as adding positive two. But we'll go ahead and leave it in this form. We have negative five minus negative two less than 10 minus negative two. Simplifying, this is equivalent to negative five plus two or negative three. This expression is equivalent to 10 plus two, which is 12. Negative three less than 12, once again, is still true. Let's move in this direction here where we add negative three to both sides, which is equivalent to subtracting three. But we'll leave it in this form. We have negative five plus negative three less than 10 plus negative three. Simplifying, we have negative eight less than seven, which once again is still true. Moving in this direction, we multiply both sides of the equation by negative four. We would have negative five times negative four less than 10 times negative four. Simplifying, negative five times negative four is 20. We have 20 less than 10 times negative four is negative 40. Well, here we have a problem. 20 less than negative 40 is actually false. So if we multiply both sides of the inequality by a negative, the inequality becomes false. Before we address this, let's look at what happens when we divide both sides of the inequality by a negative. Dividing both sides by negative five, we have negative five divided by negative five less than 10 divided by negative five. Simplifying, negative five divided by negative five is equal to positive one. We have one less than 10 divided by negative five is equal to negative two. We have another issue here because we have positive one is less than negative two, which once again is false. So we've discovered that if we multiply or divide both sides of inequality by a negative value, the inequality becomes false. So if we think about what we can do to make these two inequalities true, we would just need to reverse the inequality. 
So instead of one less than negative two, we rewrite the inequality as one greater than negative two, which is now true. And over here where we have 20 less than negative 40 to make this true, once again we reverse the inequality and the inequality will then be true. We write the inequality as 20 greater than negative 40, which is now true. So we just discovered the most important part of solving inequalities is if we multiply or divide both sides of the inequality by a negative value, we must reverse the inequality symbol. Let's write this out. This is the most important rule we must remember when solving inequalities, because we solve inequalities just like we solve equations, except for this one rule. If we multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a negative, we must reverse the inequality symbol. I hope you found this helpful.